shouted too much yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost, it it was the sound. Yes. It was the sound that was heard throughout the city, and it, and it was to do with intellect or education or experience. It was just a sound, and the people came running, and three thousand souls in one day got born again. It was totally of the Holy Ghost. That's what I'm looking for. That's why the Lord, I believe, said, even if it were told you, you would not believe it because intellectual strategy I can believe but something like what happened on the day of Pentecost I if they had told that Peter that you know just just two weeks before 40 days before Peter this is what you're going to do you better study the, the prophet Joel Peter because you are going to be talking about it I don't think Peter knew that but it was in his spirit he said this is that this day is that that the job that Joel spoke about. Yes. I'm saying this is that Come that on. the Lord said. You will hardly believe it, but there will be a work in my day. God told me. Amen. That work is about to happen, England. You better listen, Come England, because that day is about to break out on you. Any time wow. now, we're going to see a mighty move of God in the UK. Mighty. That will impact the world. Um, Smith Wigglesworth said, it will be the greatest in the world. I mean, Azusa Street. Whoa. But this will be the greatest move of God that you have ever seen. And with it, upon the church will come the gifts of the Holy Ghost. And that's what will make it easy. Oh, glory. Wow. That's what will make it easy. Listen. On the believers will yes. call the gifts of Verbatim. This is exactly what the Lord told me this morning in this two-hour delay. It was not delay. It was guarding for me. I began to shake. I began to shout. I said to go outside. I don't want to scare the lobby people. And I began to walk in the snow and shout because the Lord says the same thing. It was the greatest thing exactly what happened on the day of Pentecost, but a hundred times more. 300,000 will be saved and the three millions will be saved and there'll be billions are going to be saved from yes. that Holy Spirit move yes. in our hearts. Yes. I was just... <laughs> you know, there was a stage when when I, I just, I dreamt stadiums. I walked stadiums. I only saw stadiums. I just saw stadiums being filled. Stadiums all over the world being filled. I'm like, God, what is this? What is this? The stadiums, how how are they going to be drawn? There will be a sound. Yes. And they will run wow. into those stadiums. Awesome. We're about to see it. And I mean, I'm talking many years ago that that, that I, I, I was seeing that. But, but uh, you know, God enables it. He enables us to see so that we can prophesy. Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? You better prophesy it. Yes. You better prophesy Say it. it. Yes. We're saying say it. Say it. Amen. Say it. Amen. And, uh, here in America, we had uh, Billy Graham, uh, a famous uh, evangelist, and uh, he filled everywhere stadiums. But now we're going to have uh, the joy of the Lord, the not just responding salvation, but with joy yes. and with. A full manifestation of, yeah. of the prophetic and the joy and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So evangelism with full experience of the Holy Ghost, like yeah. fire came on every believer. And, yeah. and, and Philip gave us a little bit of a, an yeah. insight because he went and he did signs and wonders in the city. Yes. And he said, and there was great joy in the city. Yes. Great joy in the city. <laughs> Miracles, healing, signs and wonders, not just getting saved, but immersed into the Holy Ghost to do all the things that Jesus did yeah. without any education, without anything, but having the Holy Spirit inside, yeah. teaching us, yeah. conducting us, guiding us, yeah. instructing us. Like Jesus says, everything I spoke, He will tell you, He will help you, yeah. and you can do, and you will do greater things than even I did. So yeah. that's 
That's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And Come on, <laughs> the greatest yeah. evangelism. Say, but fill the Holy Spirit. So wow, we're so excited. Can't wait. Can't wait. We're doing a, we're doing a Holy Spirit 2020 event um, in April in San Diego. And that's exactly why, because he says, I will leave, but then I'll leave with the Holy Spirit. And he will do this, all these things. Yes. So excited. Wow.